Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing the Chloe Ting two week shred program. You will see all about the workouts, the foods I'm eating, and my progress. Did I lose the weight? I'll share with you the foods I'm eating and the, how I'm feeling about the workouts and recap at the end of this video. But this is in collaboration with some other lovely ladies here on YouTube. I will leave their videos down below for you guys who are interested, but I am really excited to go along with them for these two weeks and we're all sharing our videos at the same time right now so you can check out their journeys as well. Everyone's journey is different. For me, I'm wanting to maybe lose two pounds within these two weeks. I think that should be achievable if I'm like doing the workouts every single day and drinking more water and less snacking to be totally honest, but hopefully I can lose the two pounds. I will let you guys know at the end of this, but let's get into day one. Stumbling out of bed and I still got you in my head from all those pretty words you said. It's like I'm wasted. Every time I see your face, I'm losing track of time and space. I don't know where I am. It's like I'm wasted. And I won't waste it And I promise that I I will stand by you forever I can't get you out of my mind I will follow you wherever And I won't waste it I don't want to slow this down My heart is screaming out your name I'm wasted on you Here we are right underneath the stars So let's get a little reckless You make me breathless And I won't waste this And I promise that I Just finished video one, day one, completely out of breath. <sighs> Definitely different than when I do vlog a lot of ease, pop a lot of ease, and Zumba. I don't normally work out in this room. I normally work out in the play playroom up here. Whew, and I don't have my camera and lighting and stuff. But whew, it's time for video two. Stand right here and talk all night if you want I ain't got no place to be, no one's waiting for me I won't lie, I'm into you Got like a million ideas what we could do Cause I'm not gonna let you slip away I won't waste this There's something about the way you Fix your eyes on me I can't help myself fall in love, I go crazy I, I, I. What you wanna do now? Okay guys, so I just completed day one of the program. Whew. 
it is intense. So I think both those videos that you do on day one, you do every day and then you add on other videos with it. So my goal would be to do some of this stuff not having to modify it. That would be amazing if I'm able to do that after two weeks. Of course I want to lose weight and everything like that, but kind of while I'm doing the workouts, be able to do it all the way through without taking a little additional breaks that you may have seen and to not have to modify so much. I definitely am sweating because I'm excited to see what tomorrow is. I do want to also say I do a stretch program that I kind of created for myself to get my splits. I will have down below my playlist of the three videos that I try to do on an everyday basis to try and get my splits and I'm so close so I do that as well. So I will put that playlist down below with the videos that I like to do and I'm pairing it with this so I do still want to do my stretches with this workout program. So I look frazzled and crazy because I did the workout today with the monkey boy. He was really cute though because he was doing high knees with me but just spreading and then going ta-da! But he definitely was trying to pull my hair so you can see all my baby hairs out. But today felt much better doing the workouts, those two videos. I'm about to do the third video but I just wanted to kind of give you guys an update. Those two videos were a lot easier today. I think it's because I knew what to expect and I was in this big playroom with a ceiling fan versus in my small beauty room with all the studio lights and stuff like that. So I'll probably try and be in here more. But I'm gonna do that third video and I'll check in with you guys. Thanks for me helping me, bud. So just finished the workout. Great workout. I like doing abs more than like high cardio burpee, hit, like hit workouts and stuff. So I did pretty good. Jackson even held my legs down for like the side crunches, things like that. Here's a good help. Come on. <laughs> good job. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my stretches. Tonight for dinner, I made salsa chicken. It's really easy, just put chicken in a crock pot, pour salsa over it, cook on high for four hours. And you can put it over lettuce with some refried beans, cheese, kind of have a taco bowl kind of thing. I will link the video if you guys are interested. I made it for what's for dinner video in the past. So that's <laughs> Crazy hair. Definitely have to shower, but just finished day three of the program. And today was like four videos, a lot more time consuming. It's still about under an hour, but I definitely took nap time to try and dedicate and work on the videos, go full out and whew, I'm sore. Um, what I will say today is I'm not as sore as I was yesterday. My abs are definitely feeling it more today, but other than that, pretty good. I looked at the program a little bit more. I'm excited for that active rest day. I mean, any kind of day in general, I guess, is an active rest day with having a two-year-old toddler, but I'm kind of excited for that. But today was just a full-blown day. I also cleaned the bathrooms, like the showers, vacuumed a lot of stuff when my mom was here with Jackson earlier today, so definitely had a full-blown workout day today. So I did have another salad today. I mean, pretty much it's like the same thing. I have my coffee in the morning, have a salad, and then I change it up for dinner. Good workout. Whew, I'm glad that I'm doing this. I think, I think it's a good start to the new year. I just turned 29 on the 23rd. So it's a good way to kick my butt into gear for this next year. So it is about 9.22 at tonight, and I got in my day four workout. I'm gonna be completely honest and real with you guys. Today technically is supposed to be like day five, which is supposed to be an active rest day. Yesterday was a pretty tough day to kind of get through with just like, just the day-to-day -day life kind of stuff. So I, I didn't work out. I had two Oreo cookies and that's life. I just needed needed some time. I needed to take care of myself. I know eating two Oreo cookies isn't taking care of yourself, but it was just kind of a hard day in general and 
mentally and stuff like that. So I did not work out, but I made sure to get it in today. Luckily, a day five is an active or day six, I don't know, is an active rest day in this program. So I'm just going to continue and roll on to day six tomorrow, which is Sunday. I This program is good, but I find I lack what I thought I had in my body. I'm so used to, like I mentioned earlier, doing Zumba and some pop Pilates, vlog Pilates here on YouTube. So this is really different. The third video in today's program, I'll have like the picture up here of what I'm talking about, but it had a lot of planks and like plank walking and this thing called a saw and all everything like that. My body can't do it right now. Hopefully if I continue and I'm continuing to work on planks and my arm strength, then I'll be able to do it. But it kind of was a little disheartening to like be completely honest with you guys. It is what it is kind of thing. I'm gonna to continue to work hard on this program, try and eat a little bit better. The past 24 hours just haven't been the best. Um, so I need to get back on that game. But yeah, I don't know. How are you guys feeling, especially with quarantine and stuff like that and just everything that's going on in the world right now. It's just like, sometimes you just I'm like, why am I even trying? But I'm trying to get the motivation by doing this and trying to get back in the physical and the exercise. It's really hard to do that right now. A, it's so hot outside. B, at, like gyms, everything are closed. So that's why I signed up to do this program with these lovely ladies. He, that's why I signed up and I wanted to do this program to try and make me do it, make me accountable to do it. So I did miss that one day. I'm going to use the active rest day tomorrow and get back on track. So. Wish me luck. I did it today. Really happy about that. So I'm going to do my stretches and put on some YouTube, fun YouTube stuff to watch. I wanted to check in with you guys and kind of let you know the real update on the program. The program's good. I just, I wish there were more modifications, but then again, if there weren't, if there were so many modifications, would I do it? You know, I feel like we sometimes like know the modifications, but we and we do them because we don't think we can do it full out, but I don't know. It's definitely a mental game too. But. Messy bun, but another workout day completed. I will say personally for me, I know my hair is super distracting, but personally for me, if I don't get the workout in before dinner time, it's so hard for me to get motivation to do it at nighttime. So I did it this morning before nap time. I'm just kind of keeping Jackson occupied with puzzles, cars, things like that. We did have a mishap and he took the, the handle off that. So we're gonna have to deal with that. But I got my workout in. I'm now gonna give him some ABC mouse so I can do my stretches. You want ABC mouse? So I'm gonna go do that so I can get my stretches in and then we will have lunch here soon. Starting a day seven today and Hopefully, I don't die. One, with working out with a munchkin. Here's your goldfish and tea, baby. But ready to get the workout in. Four videos. Wish me luck. You know I want you close. Maybe hold your hand a little while. Somehow I know you can be the girl that I'll end up calling my own. We ride around in style, sleeves rolled up, glasses on. And then you make that smile, and my heart starts racing when I'm with you. just completed the workouts even though I tried to do exactly what the video is doing I did have a munchkin who made the the things a little bit more difficult or made me modify or do different things than what was directed 
but I did burn 397 calories. I got my heart rate up. I did an hour of trying and trying my best to work out. So I count it as a success today. Tonight we're gonna make lean pimento cheese sandwiches. I will link the what's for dinner if it's already out or be sure to subscribe so you can stay up to date with my meal plan and my what's for dinner videos. But we're going to start making dinner, get some water. Me. Pretty good workout. Jackson had a blast. So another day complete, burned 359 calories today. Only had the munchkin on me a little bit during part of a video. I liked the Ariana Grande video. That was fun and different. I liked that it was actual music. And yeah, it was a good workout, but it's a little messy in here now. So it is now bath time and starting to get ready for bed, but I got my workout in. Feeling good. Hey guys, so it is day 11, just two videos to do today. I did day 10 yesterday and my hubby actually did two of the videos with me and he was struggling. I'm not saying that I was slightly happy about it, but it was good to know that I definitely have been working on the videos and doing them with the program except for like changing up two of the rest days, but I've been doing them with the program. I feel myself getting stronger. It was kind of motivating to work out with him doing the videos and kind of want to like show what I can do kind of thing. So I'm excited to do the two videos that you do pretty much every single day. Jackson's taking a nap, so it's the perfect time to kind of get those 20, 30 minutes in of workout. Workout is complete. Sweaty, messy hair to boot. It was about 24 minutes, 189 calories burned. Pretty good. It's so funny the difference though between doing those two videos on day one to those two same videos on day 11. I can't believe it's day 11, but feels good. I will say my triceps are killing me today and my knees were kind of bothering me a little bit during the workout today, but overall pretty good. I think we're going to grill some chicken tonight and I'll have some broccoli or something, something relatively healthy. There's a little puppy dancing and stuff, but Jackson is still napping. So I love when I can get my workout in during nap time because then I know like I have bedtime and stuff to do whatever I want. I can relax, like pushing off working out until the end of the night just mentally is not always the best so i'm glad i was able to find some time during nap time nap time i typically am trying to film and edit videos for my youtube channels and clean the house get dinner and stuff ready but i'm kind of hoping isaac is helping with dinner tonight and yeah he's kind of having a good nap right now i think it's because it's dark a storm's about to come but i'm gonna watch a couple of fun youtube videos while i stretch and before he wakes up Day 12 complete, had the munchkin with me again. So the workout was like 56 minutes long because we had potty breaks and other things, you know, toddlers. But I burned about 385 calories. Average heart rate was about 128. So pretty good. Two more days. I am kind of going to tell y'all. I'm excited for this program to be over and I switch up my stuff. I love doing Zumba. I love doing Blogilates or Papilates videos every now and then. I'll start incorporating some of her videos, but doing the same videos every day is just not my, my cup of tea. So two more days. I think tomorrow we have three videos. So see you then. Day 13 is done. Burned about 256 calories. My hair is a hot mess. Tomorrow is the last day. I will say I'm interested to know like kind of what my body looks like from the past two weeks. Yeah, I got my workout in today and tomorrow's the last day. So it is day 14 as Chloe says, let's crush this. So I am about to do day 14, the last day. I'm really excited. There are four videos, so hopefully Jackson will stay 
asleep. It was kind of an earlier nap for him, but we played outside, but hopefully I can get this workout in and feel accomplished for completing the 14 day plan. After all is said and done, let's get into the workout. Stumbling out of bed and I still got you in my head from all those pretty words you said. It's like I'm wasted. Every time I see your face, I'm losing track of time and space. I don't know where I am. It's like I'm wasted. And I won't waste it. And I promise that I, I will stand by you forever. I can't get you out of my mind. I will follow you wherever. And I won't waste it. Slow this down, my heart is screaming out your name I'm wasted on you Here we are right underneath the stars So let's get a little that second video, I think I hurt my foot a little bit It was giving me some problems doing planks and stuff So you saw me kind of modify that a little bit So I'm going to do the last two videos of the workout challenge The lower body workout and court and arms And I'll check back in with you guys in a little bit Reckless you make me breathless and I won't so, wait. Just finished the program, the two weeks to shred. I'm going to take a shower and I'll come back and give you guys everything that you want to know about my progress, my thoughts on the workouts and everything like hey that. Hey guys, so it is the moment you've been all waiting for, my progress pictures, results, and how I feel about the program. So I started off weighing 137.2 pounds and after the challenge I am 134.6. I am shocked by this but really happy. I haven't been that low in quite some time but for it to be 134.6 is so makes me so happy. So I have the progress pictures right here. So I have a special scale, the Wi-Fi scale that I stand on and that is the app that I'm using to kind of tell you guys my results. So what's pretty cool about the scale and the app is you can have different members of your family in the program or on the app and then it kind of just sends all of your metrics, your BMI, your water, all of that kind of information and sends it to your phone on the app which I think is so awesome because there's more to being healthy and your body than just the number on the scale, the weight on the scale. So this kind of gives me all those other percentages, things like that. So I'm going to share with you guys a couple of the metrics that has changed since this program besides weight. So my BMI before was 23.7. Now it is 23.3. Body fat went down as well. It was 25.8, now it's down to 25.1. My body water went up 50.9 to 51.4. My protein did go up during this program 17.5 to 17.7. And then they have this thing called metabolic age, so kind of the age of your body. And mine was at 29 when I turned 29. It was very interesting because it was like at 28. And then when I, it was the day of my birthday, it turned 29 and I was 29. So it actually went down back to 28 doing this program. That's interesting. Um, but those are kind of the different metrics you can see. And I mean, they give you a graph and stuff like that, which is really interesting and a good way to keep yourself accountable. So overall in doing the program, I liked it. I kind of wish there was more variety though in the type of videos, but I think doing the same things, especially those first two videos, especially that first video with all the burpees and all that kind of high cardio stuff is what I needed. Um, it's what I didn't really like, but it's what I think my body needed. That's why I like 
and I tend to go towards Blogilates because she kind of has different songs and different kind of videos every day to kind of keep you change your pace. But this one was definitely like hardcore, add a couple videos here and there, switch them off. But those are the two videos. So I kind of got sick of doing those two videos, but I think that was part of the reason I did see results in my body and my numbers. Um, I will say I probably would have seen a little bit more change if I did better with my diet. I did try and have my salads, but I did still kind of make like jambalaya. I made pimento cheese sandwiches, but healthy version. I will link the what's for dinner up above if you guys are interested in what I was eating. Um, but I had a little bit more desserts. We went out to eat twice had some desserts then, so I just need to kind of work on what I'm eating. So overall, I am glad I did this little challenge with these other fellow mamas here on YouTube. Check their videos out again, but I have never heard of Chloe Ting before this, so I am excited to check out a couple of her other videos as well. And what I've learned is to try and make working out and eating better more of a priority for me. I feel like quarantine started and I was doing good and I've been going up and down with emotions and everything that's been going on with 2020 and I was definitely in a rough spot last month and I think this program kind of helped challenge me and my mental state as well so hopefully I can continue to make working out and eating better a priority for me. I want to close my circles every day. I've done that every day since doing this challenge, which is awesome. So I have already today went on a two mile walk with my son and my dog, and I may do a couple workout videos later tonight, but really excited. Thank you guys so much for sticking around and watching till the end. If you want to see more videos from me, be sure to hit that subscribe button and I'll stay up to date with kind of what I'm eating, things I'm doing, cleaning, all that kind of stuff. So I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye. Stumbling out of bed and I still got you in my head from all those pretty words you said. It's like I'm wasted. Every time I see your face, I'm losing track of time and space I don't know where I am, it's like I'm wasted And I won't waste it